let's do this proper introduction, okay? So, what's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so like I showed you guys, we can actually get the uh, the repeat balls, the timer balls, a little earlier than expected. And what I'm going to try and do right here is I'm going to try and capture this Pokemon right here because, crud, we do love this Pokemon with all our hearts. And in Pokemon Emerald, you guys already know, we captured this guy and named it, uh, dubbed it... Sir Raiden, not Raiden, uh, not Sir Raiden, but Raiden, you guys know what I'm talking about. So let's go right in and throw that timer ball at it, and hopefully it captures this guy. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. God dang it. Okay, so we got two more Pokeballs or timer balls left. That might work, might not work, I don't know. Come on. Come on, sweet baby, sweet baby Jesus. Here we go. Timer ball. Go. Come on. Stay in the fucking Pokeball. Stay in the god dang Pokeball. Stay in there. And that is how you do it, guys. I'm throwing out the peace sign. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and take a look at that Pokedex uh, entry. And uh, would you look at that? Hydra number two grows to level 17. That's always nice. And, uh... Well, would you look at that? We got ourselves Electric, the lightning Pokemon. Electric type Pokemon. Two feet... 33 pounds and a half. Electrite stores electricity in its long body hair. This Pokemon stimulates its leg muscles with electric charges. These jolts of uh, power give its legs explosive acceleration performance. That is a long sentence right there. And yes, we are going to nickname this Pokemon right here. The good old nickname that we named it back in Pokemon Emerald. Now, if I can only find my pen right here. God dang, hold on. Hold on, guys. It's on the floor. There it is. <laughs> okay, so here it is, guys. We're going to be dubbing this Pokemon the same nickname we got it in Pokemon Emerald. Yes, we're going to be naming it Raiden. Thank you, Mortal Kombat. Alrighty, so here we are back in Route 110, I believe. Yes, we are. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Raiden. Not so new, new, new Pokemon and all that stuff. So as you can see, Raiden, the electric-type Pokemon... It does have Lightning Rod as its uh, ability, which draws in uh, it draws in all electric type moves and boosts up its special attack. Very, very good move. But as you can see, it doesn't really have any kind of electric type moves, so that, that that's kind of lame right there. So that that's why we have a uh, Thunder Wave right there. Yeah, uh, as you can see, its speed it's its uh, biggest thing. Special attack, it's always good too. And uh, it looks like we're going to have to power it up just a little bit. So, let's move on right here. Let's, uh... Yeah, we don't have a bike, so we have to actually go right here. So, let's move on and uh, take on the world right here. And, uh, well... I see a Pokemon right there, but I do not want to capture it right now. Uh, I will be doing some of my Pokemon capturing off-screen. That way, it doesn't really bother me or anything like that. And, yeah, you know... At least I get to finish up all my stuff right here. I think it's when we get to Mauville City when we get to see, like, the real Pokemon training and all that stuff happen. And uh, here we find ourselves our Dire Hit. Pretty good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, we got a Pokemon trainer waiting for us right there. So let's go ahead and uh, take on this guy right here. I found some cool Pokemon in the tall grass around here. That's pretty cool of you, buddy. Let's go. So here we go. Youngster Timmy. Timmy would like to battle. And he's coming with his Poochiana. And, uh, well, Poochiana's looking all cool and awesome and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and uh, try and evolve our Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. I think it's time to evolve it. And, uh, well, it is a Dark-type Pokemon, so let's go with a Disarming Voice right here. Hopefully a Dark, a Fairy-type move will work. Yes, it does. And say goodbye to Poochiana. Okay, so I'm starting to get the hang of these Fairy-type Pokemon right here. Look at that. And, uh, well, let's see. He's going to be coming out with an Auron. Now, that's another Pokemon that we did have. I will try and capture it later on in our adventure right here, guys. I believe you can still capture it over at the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, cave. The Granite Cave. Yeah. I think you can still do that. And I will do that in a separate episode. So, let's go right ahead and just take care of this business right now. So, Sage of the Halo. Go with that Leaf Blade. Look at that. Awesome. Critical hit. Yeah, nobody can stop us right here. I'm flexing my muscles right now, guys. That is the ultimate flex. And Yokozuna growing levels like crazy. So, I'm actually very excited about this Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Vital Throw. Never misses. 
So let's see. Yeah, we're gonna take away uh, Force Bomb. I know it gives paralysis and all that stuff, but again, remember, guys, we will be switching up Pokemon later on in this whole thing. And uh, here he comes out with an Electric. So let's go right ahead and. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. I'm gonna give everybody some uh, some kind of chance right here. Like I said, guys, we will be changing up Pokemon here and there. I will be making Pokemon teams. I will be bringing up some old Pokemon teams from, like, the past generations and all that stuff. Or past times that I've ever done any kind of walkthroughs. Um, if you guys don't remember, uh, you know, I, I wasn't always Gym Leader Draven. I was actually Drim, uh, Draven XE 711 at one point, And I did have a bunch of teams. Some teams that I hacked. Some teams that, you know, eh, were okay and all that stuff. Some, guys that, some of you guys had opinions on it. But... Nevertheless, I still had teams and all that stuff. So I might see that. You might, you guys might see that in this game right here. Again, lots and lots of opportunities in this game right here. And uh, look at that. Grows to level 20. Hello, Guy of the Fierce Knight, level 20. And, uh, well, we defeated Timmy. Being cool, is it enough to win? No, it really isn't. It really isn't. Okay. All right, you mother lover. He is finally evolving. Or she is finally evolving. So after a nice amount of uh, episodes, I think it's what, 14 episodes? We're finally evolving our Gaia right here. Now I remind you that I do have two Gaias. Gaia number one right here and Gaia number two who is obviously a guy. And we will be evolving it into a Gallade pretty soon. And uh, well, that is how you do it right there. So let's go ahead and check out our new Gallade, or our new, uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, Curlia, yeah, I completely forgot its name. Jam, it's just like blanking right here. So, same thing. Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon. Very useful Pokemon in this whole thing. And it is a special attacker and special defenseman. And its uh, speed is right up there. So it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff right there. And, uh, well, let's see. The next Pokemon. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with the uh, Raiden right here and see what it does. I don't necessarily have... A proper electric type move, but it will actually work well right here. So once you go forward, well, hello, hello there. Our girlfriend is right there waiting for us. Hey, Draven, it's been ages. Nice thing, too. I was just searching uh, for Pokemon, you know. My dad is always going on uh, on about how nature used to be more uh, diverse way back in the day. Uh, he says that there, there used to be way more uh, kinds of Pokemon than there are now. So that's why we do field work. Him and me. We really want to find out what happened uh, to those Pokemon in the past. On my journey up to now, I met a lot of different Pokemon, and I think I've gotten to understand a lot of them, too. Me and my Pokemon have really grown. So, how about a little battle? Okay. Whatever you want, baby. Here we go. I love it when she does that. And I love the theme song right here. So we're being challenged by a girlfriend, uh, Trainer May, and she's coming out with her Pokeball right here. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I think this is our second battle. I think it is. Okay, so here we go. Whalmer, level 18, versus my Raiden, level 12. I'm going to try and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and slow it down a little, but here comes that water gun attack and uh, nearly takes us out right there. So we're clearly outmatched with this freaking uh, Whalmer right here. And how in the hell did you capture a Whalmer before me? I always wanted to capture a Whelmer, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to the next person right here. Sage of the Halo. Running Warriors. Watch it, everybody. So go, Sage. Alrighty. And Wilmer, of course, coming out with his water gun again. Yeah, you're nothing. Okay, so let's go with that Leaf Blade. Let's finish this guy off right here. There we go. That is how you do it. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it right there. And, uh, well, everybody's getting experience points. And she's going to be sending out her best Pokemon, Combuskin. So we're going to be switching it out right here with Docs of Batman. That's right. Bring it on. I am feeling confident today. Very, very confident. So here we go. Combuskin, meet my Docs of Batman. Docs of Batman, meet this Combuskin. And to Combuskin, eat this air cutter attack. And it does have its flame charge, so that kind of might screw me over a little, because it will increase its speed. So here we go again, air cutter. There we go, and wow. 
That is not that strong, so uh, let's go with the Confuse Ray right here. And, of course, it's going to try and hit us with a freaking uh, sand attack, so there we go. <laughs> try and hit us now. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Air Cutter attack. Come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Yes! Okay. Time to take this Air Cutter. And crud, it missed. Okay, so I got lucky right there. Come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. God dang it. So there we go again with another sand attack. And uh, here we go, air cutter. Come on. That was almost a critical hit right there. So let's go ahead and see if we can hit it one more time. Come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, you asshole Pokemon. God dang it. Where's the, com Where's the compound eyes or the keen eye where you need one? And uh, yes, yeah, so we're getting blinded right here, so... This is going to be sheer luck, and god dang it. Of course, it's going to not... Ah, oh, crud. You see? Uh, how am I going to evolve this Pokemon? Ah, oh, god dang it. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Hydra number two. <laughs> Imagine that. Combuskin getting beaten by Golden Freaking Magikarp. Okay. It's at level 17, don't worry, and it's got a tackle attack, and uh, here comes that flame charge. Will it do anything? No, sir, it doesn't. It's not that effective, but it it will become speedy. So here we go, tackle attack. God dang, okay. Yeah, I kind of overtried my tr my thing right there. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to revive a certain Pokemon. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so there's a double kick. <laughs> yeah, fuck me, right? Okay, Combuskin. Time to go to school. Time to meet Gaia number one. Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, well, it has its blaze, so it might be doing something right there. So let's go with the confusion attack and, uh, god dang, I hate that sand attack. Freaking asshole Pokemon that looks like a goddamn penis. There we go. Eat that. That's right. Sit your penis head down. And, uh, well, more experience points for all of us right there. And Raiden grows to level 13 and wants to finally learn Spark. Okay, you asshole Pokemon, you. Finally learning a goddamn move. So we're learning that. And, uh... Okay, so I learned Spark, and it's going to come out with a Shroomish. So let's go ahead and switch out and use Toxic Batman, and hopefully it wins something. Because right now, it, it can't be that happy. It can't be that happy since it, keep, like, it just lost its last two matches, I think. So here we go. Shroomish meet with Toxic Batman. Toxic Batman, take this uh, air cutter attack right here. There we go. And uh, nearly, well, takes a lot. But as you already know, we're going to get paralyzed. Oh, God. Man, this girlfriend is like mean to me she is mean and here comes that mega drain okay not super effective okay so here we go air cutter attack nearly takes him out god dang okay so here we go one more air cutter could do it and uh well that headbutt is going to screw me over right now so here we go air cutter for the win take that shroomish there we go Okay, so Toxic Batman finally wins a match, and it grows to level 21, which is always good. And, uh, well, there we go. May has been defeated, and she's like, oh, well, yikes, you're better than I expected. And we get ourselves $800. That's good. Draven, you've been busy training too, haven't you? Oops, look at us. Our teams are pretty tired. Let's get the, uh, well, let's get them taken care of first. See? Get yourself a woman like May. She will heal your Pokemon even after, you know, she kicked your ass a little bit. And now I think you deserve a reward too. Here, this is from me. And now we get ourselves a dowsing machine, which will actually help us find some hidden items right there. Yep, find hitting any any hidden items around. Little thing that will react to you. Pay attention and it'll lead you to the right items. And it's fun to see what uh, waving bits uh, above uh, your head. Oh wow, it's a it's it's kind of it kind of looks like a kind of looks like a like a, a antenna or something. Try it, and I bet you'll be hooked. Careful, you won't be able to sneak up on Pokemon while you're you're uh, while you wear it. See you later, Draven. Let us meet again. 
and hope we'll be able to meet even uh, more on our Pokemon journeys. Oh, we will, baby. Don't worry. We will. Anywho. Let's go ahead and check out that, that dowsing machine. So we're going to go to the key items right here. And we're going to register that little bastard. It looks like a antenna. So let's go right ahead and use it. As you can see, it's springy. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look like a bug. It's a bug's life, people. Now it's glowing, so that usually means that uh, we're going to be finding some kind of item around here. So let's go ahead and switch out. No, actually, I don't want that Pokemon. It's already evolved. Let's go right ahead and uh, switch out to Toxic Batman since it's close to evolving too, and we need to keep it happy. And uh, where are you? Okay, so it's right here somewhere. There we go. And we found ourselves another Great Ball. That's good. Okay, okay, so who's next? Okay, we got another item. Actually, God dang it, he saw us. Can I see your Pokemon? Just one look, please. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Collector Edwin would like to battle, and he will be coming out with his Lombre. The Ombre. Okay. You know, I think if I would get an, a Lombre on my team, I would call it Ombre. Just because. So here we go. Talk to Batman. Let's go with that ear cutter. Yeah, buddy. Nearly takes him out. That was a good critical hit right there. And, uh, yeah, not so effective right there, buddy. Come on, you just got one HP. Okay, so let's finish this guy off with a little bit of a bite attack. Yeah, buddy. No more Ombre the Lombre. Okay. Look at that. And uh, the experience points keep on happening, and he will be coming out with a Nuzleaf. So, let's continue on right here with our good old buddy, Toxic Batman. All right, Toxic Batman, let's go with this air cutter right here, and here we go. And there goes the Nuzleaf. That's right, buddy. That is how you do it. All righty. And uh, I think we might evolve him in this level or in this episode right here. And Hydra number two, close to evolving, and Raiden growing levels quickly. Okay. All righty, so we're working with something right here. And we have an, a, a hidden item here somewhere. It's right here somewhere. Okay, I don't want to talk to you right now. There we are. Found ourselves another revive, which is always nice. And, uh... Okay, revive is good. And, uh, I really don't want to sneak up on any Pokemon right now. So, this is always good right here. So, let's go right ahead and use another repel right here. And uh, let's get the heck out of here. So let's move on. And uh, look at that. Look at the height on that. I can't wait to get into the... Can't wait to get there. And uh, we found ourselves another item right here somewhere, right? Where are you? God dang it, he saw it! I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. Okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. Here we go! Psychic Edward would like to battle, and he will be coming out with an Abra. Alrighty, this should be easy, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't have like any kind of effed up moves. It's at level 17, so... Well, clearly it's for... Uh, oh wow, it has hidden it, hidden, it, uh, hidden power, but it's not that powerful right there. Must have gotten a different type. And so here we go with a bite attack, and there we go. Abra. Defeated! And uh, more experience points right there, and uh, yeah, buddy, another victory us, another victory for us, I should say. Okay, so where is that hidden item? Right here somewhere. Oh, it's right here somewhere. God dang it! God, stop moving. There we go, right here. So we found ourselves a Pokeball, and I bet I know what Pokemon that is. It's a Voltorb, but I will not be capturing it. Don't want to capture it right now. Again, I'm going to be capturing a lot of these Pokemon off-screen. And I think that's pretty much it for capturing or for battling Pokemon trainers. I think we have like maybe one or two guys left. But we're going to be getting these Lepa Berries right now. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can evolve the Pokemon right here. I don't know, I kind of want to. I really want to. So hopefully that, that will actually happen. So... There we go, found ourselves a Lepa Berry, and uh, no, I will not use another Repel, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey! Don't sneak up behind me when I'm fishing! Okay, and I'm just like moving forward, getting adjusted right here on my seat. 
And he will be coming out with a tentacool. Tentacool, my enemy. My sworn enemy right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use that air cutter. I could have used, used steel wing. But I didn't. And, uh, crud, here comes an acid attack. Not that effective. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Steel wing! Come on. Okay, a little bit more effective right there. A little bit better. And look at that. Our defense has risen. And, uh, well, that's really not going to do much to us. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a little bit of a steel wing. Steel wing! Win! Oh, crud. Nearly beats him. And, uh, well, just our luck. We're going to be getting uh, confused right there. So let's go with the bite attack right here. Come on! Do not be... Oh, there we go. Bite attack for the win. Suck it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And crud, nearly grow no another level. So we're going to be taking on this Whalmer right here. And you know what? We're going to be switching out because I'm confused. And it's a good time for any, like, it's a very, very good time to actually use Raiden right here. So let's go, Raiden. Raiden's looking all Super Saiyan with his hair. And here comes that freaking water gun attack. Not super effective like our girlfriends, but here we go. Spark attack, come on. For the win. Yeah. Okay, so that takes a good amount. And, uh, damn it. Okay, so I should probably... Yeah, I should probably give it a sodi pop right here. So let's go, sodi pop. Let's go. Okay, there we go. There's that sodi pop right there, and uh, everybody's happy. Here comes a water gun attack, and uh, damn, it's a hard-hitting water gun attack. Come on, Raiden, you gotta, you gotta take more. You gotta be a little tougher than that. Nearly takes this guy out, and uh, finally you're paralyzed, asshole Pokemon Whalmer. Another water gun. Damn it! Oh God, Raiden, you need more. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Alrighty, let's go talk to Batman, because it, it's the person of the show, the Pokemon of the show. It's already weakened, so let's go with a bite attack. Here we go, bite, for the win. Suck it. Alright, alright, alright. And uh, look at that, grows to level 22, and it's finally going to evolve. And uh, Gaia grows to level 21, Yokozuna grows to level 23, and uh, nobody else grows. Yes, he lost. Finally. So here it is, guys. Another Digivolution. A Toxie Batman is finally going to evolve into his next form, which is Golbat. Now, we did give it the Sooth Bell for a good reason. It needs to build a little more friendship towards us, and it did lose a few matches on and off screen. But yeah, we're going to have to, like, really, really make it like us. So there it is, guys. Our next Pokemon, Golbat. Oh, yes. Looking all mean with his big-ass mouth and everything. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got right here. So let's see. Golbat. And, uh, yes, both Poison and Flying-type Pokemon. It's a very speedy Pokemon. Special Defenseman. Actually, it's more defensive than anything. So, yeah, that's kind of a... It's kind of a... Yeah, it's kind of a downer if you if you think about it, just a little bit. But it's a speedster. So let's go right ahead and uh, keep a Sage right there, just in case this kid wants to battle or something. And uh, let's see, what do you have to say? Wouldn't it be great to ride a bike at full speed at the cycling road? Yes, it is. It would be. Okay, so here we are in front of Mauville City, guys. We're going to stay right here. Because in the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new and improved Mauville City. And, uh, well, there's going to be a battle here and there. It's going to be a small tour. And then we'll see what happens after that. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>